Auroras are not just polar phenomena anymore. They are lighting up skies as far south as Atlanta and India. These stunning displays, traditionally confined to the Arctic and Antarctic, are being propelled into new territories by changes in Earth's magnetic field and heightened solar activity. But what's driving this expansion of the aurora's canvas? In this video, we delve into the science behind these captivating light shows, explore the current extraordinary solar activities, and examine their broader implications for our planet and its inhabitants. The aurora, typically a spectacle confined to the polar regions, has recently graced the skies of the southern United States, parts of Europe, and even subtropical regions like India. This unusual geographical breadth and auroral visibility is not just a treat for the eyes, but a puzzle for the scientific community. From the bustling streets of Atlanta to the serene landscapes of India, people have shared their awe-inspiring experiences with these celestial phenomena. They have varied from intense pulsating glows that light up the entire sky to faint hues that cast a mystical glow on the horizon. Social media platforms and news outlets have been flooded with images and videos from these rare events, with individuals expressing both shock and delight at the sight. Photographers, both amateur and professional, have captured stunning snapshots of these lights, often in places where such sights were once deemed impossible. These personal stories highlight the beauty and reach of the auroras, as well as their unpredictability and the increasing interest in understanding their occurrence. For many, these experiences are once-in-a-lifetime events that connect them more deeply with the natural world, sparking curiosity and wonder about the forces that govern our planet. These auroras are produced when the solar wind, a stream of charged particles flowing out from the sun, interacts with the Earth's magnetic field. This interaction causes complex changes in the magnetic envelope that protects our planet. Under certain conditions, these particles travel along the magnetic field lines to the polar regions, where they collide with gas atoms in the Earth's atmosphere, releasing energy in the form of colorful lights. But why these auroras are becoming more visible and vibrant across different parts of the world? Let's find out in the next section. The solar wind, composed primarily of electrons and protons, is ejected from the sun at speeds that can exceed a million miles per hour. As these charged particles approach Earth, they encounter the magnetosphere, a magnetic shield that envelops the planet and directs the solar wind toward the poles. As the charged particles travel along the magnetic field lines towards the poles, they collide with atoms and molecules in Earth's atmosphere, such as oxygen and nitrogen. This collision excites the atmospheric atoms, elevating electrons to higher energy states. The variations in aurora colors, from green sheets to red curtains, unfold a tale of altitude and elemental interaction. Oxygen emits a gorgeous green, or sometimes a rare red light, when hit by these particles at altitudes of about 60 to 150 miles above the Earth. Meanwhile, Nitrogen can produce blue or purplish-red hues at even higher or lower altitudes. In recent times, a significant point of concern and intrigue among scientists has been the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. This global magnetic field, generated by the iron-nickel core's movement, acts as a shield protecting us from solar winds and cosmic radiation. Over centuries, studies have shown that this field is not constant but dynamic, experiencing weakening and strengthening over various periods. Recent research suggests that the current weakening of the magnetic field could be why auroras are becoming more visible and vibrant across different parts of the world, far from the usual polar regions. This weakening allows more solar particles to penetrate our atmosphere, interacting with gases to produce auroras over a larger geographical area. This phenomenon could explain the recent sightings of the aurora in places as far south as Florida or as northward as the United Kingdom. But the story of Earth's magnetic field extends beyond just creating spectacular light shows. It is crucial for life on Earth. The magnetic field protects our atmosphere from being stripped away by solar winds, a fate that likely befell Mars after its magnetic field dissipated. The presence of a magnetic field is thus considered essential for maintaining a habitable environment on any planet. 
Moreover, Earth's magnetism plays a pivotal role in the biological world. Many species, from birds to marine life like sea turtles, rely on geomagnetic fields for navigation during their long migratory journeys. This magnetic sense, known as magnetoreception, is a fundamental aspect of survival for these species, helping them navigate vast and often featureless oceans or skies. The impact of geomagnetism extends into human history as well, influencing everything from navigation to the development of technology. The compass, one of the oldest navigational tools, operates on the principles of Earth's magnetic field. Thus, any significant changes in this field could have far-reaching implications for both natural and human-engineered systems. As mentioned in our previous videos, our Sun undergoes an 11-year cycle characterized by periods of minimal and maximal solar activity, known as solar minimum and solar maximum, respectively. During the solar maximum, the Sun emits more solar flares and coronal mass ejections leading to more intense and frequent geomagnetic storms. These storms are the primary drivers behind the magnificent aurora displays. You can check these videos in the description. Currently, we are witnessing significant solar activity marked by one of the largest sunspot groups in recent history, Active Region 3664. This region is not only vast, but also highly active, launching clouds of particles into the solar system. Some of these CMEs are already impacting Earth, and others may follow. The intense activity from this sunspot is a clear indicator of the sun's current phase in its solar cycle suggesting we can expect an increase in the frequency and intensity of auroras. Advancements in technology have significantly improved our ability to predict when and where auroras will appear. Agencies like NOAA and NASA monitor solar activity and geomagnetic conditions using a network of satellites and ground-based instruments. These tools provide real-time data crucial for forecasting space weather, including auroral activity. For example, the activity from AR 3664 has been closely monitored, allowing scientists and aurora enthusiasts to anticipate unusual auroral displays even in locations far south of the typical auroral zones. Enthusiasts and sky watchers worldwide are eagerly observing the skies, spurred by recent stunning images captured by astrophotographers like Franco Fantasia and Giuseppe Conzo from Rome. These images not only showcase the sunspot's grandeur, but also help the public and scientific community prepare for potential geomagnetic disturbances. Severe solar storms like those emanating from this sunspot could disrupt Earth-orbiting satellites, distort the Earth's atmosphere, and cause surges in electrical power grids. These technological disruptions highlight the critical importance of advanced space weather forecasting in safeguarding our modern infrastructure. Moreover, these geomagnetic disturbances influence the natural world, Animals that rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation, such as migratory birds and sea turtles, may experience disorientation during severe solar storms. There is also ongoing research into how variations in geomagnetic activity could affect human circadian rhythms and overall health, emphasizing the far-reaching implications of solar activity on terrestrial life. Thank you for joining us on this illuminating journey through the science of auroras and the mysteries of Earth's magnetism. Stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop wondering about the incredible universe we call home.